Hey guys, in this video I want to show you three most common surgical blades that I use um, on minimally invasive foot procedures. So this is part of the basics of MIS and instrumentation. And um, I actually prepared three blades because I kind of use this um, most of my MIS procedures. So let me change the, uh, the screen and then show you a little more close up. Sounds good? All right, so I use these three blades, 67 MIS, 62, there you go, 62, let me see, 62, and then 64, okay? And beaver blade handle. So let me load up 67 MIS. You just basically load them up like this and then lock it in, rotate it, lock it in. 67 MIS blade, if you look at it, let me see if we can capture this tip. There we go. So you can see it's got sharp side and distal tip. So I use this for extensor MTPJ area of the foot for let's say release the tight hammer toe. You know, you go into the MTPJ area, like gently poke and slide it in and then turn the blade and then find the joint and extensor tendon and release the tendon. And you're right at the joint level so you can do MTPJ uh, capsulotomy. So that's pretty much I use this uh, 67 MIS. It's almost uh, same width as like 18 gauge needle. So some doctors like to use 18 gauge needle. I like to use the 67 MIS blade. All right. And second blade I'll show you is the 62 blade. 62 blade. I like it because of this character, it has a cutting tip only at the distal edge. So this side is safe. So when I do a plantar aspect of the lesser digit, if let's say I do a flexor tenotomy, you want to go vertical, the parallel to the length of the digit. So you poke vertically, and then inside of soft tissue, you can turn the blade 90 degrees and then you can release the tendon inside and when you release it you usually extend the toe right to stretch or you know rest of the, the, the flexor release the skin because you make a vertical incision it actually closes so don't make a horizontal uh, incision then if you stretch it it's going to open up the incision site so that's what I use 62 blade Lastly, 64 blade, most common ones. Here we go. 64 blade, I use all the rest of the procedure. This one obviously has a cutting tip at the distal and also side. So make sure when you make incision portal for bunion, lesser metatarsal theotomy, Taylor's bunion or, on, or anything else, Make sure where the cutting edge is when you release the soft tissue with this blade. Otherwise, you know, you can go backwards. You, you forget where the cutting edge is. You can kind of puncture through the skin and come up, you know. So in, in order to prevent that, you have to just make sure uh, where the cutting edge is at all time. And then always control the blade, you know, securely and then don't shake, you know. So you need to this actually applies to all three blades you need to control the blade know where the tip is know where the cutting edges are on each blade so you don't you know make any mistake by like puncture through or the widen or lengthen the incision by accident well i hope this video shows you um, three common most common blades that we use in a minimally invasive procedures. If you would like to continue to see uh, more videos from me, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
Uh, in my channel, obviously, I, I share with you MIS, Minimally Invasive Foot Surgery, Medical Marketing, and also how to build hybrid concierge model practice that you don't rely uh, on insurance plans. Because my eventual goal for everybody that I'm working with is to help doctors build seven-figure Zen practice, seven-figure Zen podiatry practice. Um, yeah, leave me a comment if you have any question about this video. Um, next, in the description, if you want to see more extensive instrumentation uh, of minimally invasive surgery, I'm going to put a link in the description, so click the link and check it out. Otherwise, again, I'll see you in the next video.